Okay, I've loved animals all my life, ever since I was a kid. But five years ago, I was on a shoot, and um, we were learning how to track animals down in the middle of an estate or a forest and such. And they had a call. There was a big snake that was trapped in a parade and it was trapped in a net for three days plus. So you can imagine how upset it was. So we all went there, about seven of us, and we tried to release this animal. And it was a huge struggle. It's a strong, beautiful animal. It's straight out of the scene of Anaconda. This body just comes out of the water like, you know? And then we were all trying to hold it and pacify it. And, and that was the first time I held a, a snake in my hands. And it was huge, the body bigger than my thigh. And I said, this is beautiful. What are people talking about, you know? Um, perfect construction of nature and, and absolutely fascinating and I was hooked from that on. Hi, my name is Rina Omar and I'm a wildlife educator. So currently, it's just a few months old. There's a company that me and a few other like-minded individuals set up based on our love for reptiles. We want to educate people about it. We want to show them what reptiles are all about but in a very entertaining but not circus. <laughs> um, educational and engaging way so it's about you know workshops that teach kids about reptiles it could go from that or even teaching um, adults and community groups about um, how to handle snake encounters in your home and such um, to even just talking about reptiles in general in this country I mean we have over 300 species of reptiles in Malaysia new species are discovered every year at least why is nobody paying attention to the fact that we are also, aside from that, the number one gateway for illegal reptile smuggling in the world. So something had to be done. I love nature, I love the environment, and I really love reptiles. And I thought this was a really good way to incorporate loving environment and wildlife together and showing people there's something really special about reptiles and it can actually save the environment at the same time. So another uh, misconception because I don't want to be rude about it, <laughs> is a common problem with other um, endangered and, and wild species of animals like tigers, bears, uh, and such, which is snake parts have miracle cures that will kill your libido and make you strong and, you know, give you strength and make you live longer. You know, their heart, apparently, you take it out, it's still beeping, you can drink it, and it makes you, like, I don't know, what, a superhero? I mean, anybody with half a mind will tell you it's junk. We have medical science that can do whatever it is that you want it to do <laughs> without having to resort to cruelty. I don't believe these miracle cures work. Um, no, no disrespect to, to the older generation, but these traditional cures involving animal parts is, is not proven and um, is just a load of crock. <laughs> Okay, so it gave me the idea of also telling people how to deal with snakes because if more snakes are coming into the houses because we are developing and taking their homes, we can't stop what's happening. But some snakes are dangerous, so it's what you do in the encounter uh, when you encounter a snake in your home or your garden and such. Number one, <laughs> don't try to catch it. <laughs> do not try to catch it. It might be venomous. And if it's venomous, you're in trouble. Um, most times, uh, we're talking about venomous snakes like cobras, they're fast, their reflexes are lightning quick, and they're unpredictable. So if you can't read the animal, you don't handle snakes, you shouldn't try to pacify the animal yourself. You can call the bomba, uh, you can call, I think, Jabatam uh, Tahanan or the wildlife, uh, wildlife department. Um, if you're in PJ, you can call us, we can help you out, no worries, we've done it many times. Um, but very importantly is, is making sure if it goes into your house, then if you want to get, while you're waiting for people to help you out and such, just leave the room and make sure it's contained. Chances are it's just coming in to check out what's going on, it'll leave again. Just let it leave again. There's no point in just trying to kill an animal and risking your own life in the process. Hi, it's Rina Omar and keeping it green on onehijau.tv.